Spectrochemical series. Yes. Spectrochemical series. This is the arrangement of ligands in the order of their strength. For example, the ligand which is <coughs> on left side, they are weak ligands. Now weak ligands do less splitting. Splitting of the d orbital, like this is T2G and EG. So splitting is less, means delta O is less for weak ligands. So halides, all halides are weak ligands, even hydroxide, water, they are weak ligands. Mm -hmm. And for strong ligands, splitting is, splitting between T2G and EG. Delta O is more for it's large for strong ligands. Now let us take an example. We have D five configuration. So when we have D five configuration, out of five, three electrons. R and T2G. Mm. Now, how many electrons left? Two. 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 So, two electron has two options. One is they get paired or go. go. Means remain unpaired mm. but shift in the EG. Mm. To shift, energy required is higher. To shift. To EG. Energy required is yes. What is energy required? Delta O. And to get the electron paired, let's take an example here electron shift up. That is a case. Clear? So, delta O energy is required to shift the electron and if electrons are paired, then energy required is known as pairing energy. Because when they get paired, there is an inter-electronic repulsion between the paired electrons. So, to get the electron paired, work is done to or work is done against repulsive forces. Okay? To get them paired, energy is required. And energy required is known as pairing energy. So, two cases arise. First, case number one. There are two energies. One is delta O. That is the energy required to shift the electron. And second is P. That is the energy required to get the electron paired. Now, case one. If delta O is greater than P. So delta O is greater than P means delta O should be large and delta O is large for strong ligands. Delta O is more or large for strong, strong. strong ligands. And strong ligands are on the right side CO, cyanide, En. So in that case, if delta O is greater than P, energy required to shift the electron is more. So like, but energy required to pair the electron is less. less. As energy required to pair up the electron is less, so that thing takes place. So that means in this particular case, pairing takes place. And that is the case for which type of ligands? Strong or weak? Weak. Strong. 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 Delta O is greater than P. Mm. So it is for strong ligands. Mm. So pairing takes place for strong ligands. Means if metal is attached to strong ligands, then pairing takes place. Mm. If pairing takes place, these D orbitals are vacant. Mm. Now these two D orbitals are 
vacant. So hybridization for this type of complex, this type of octahedral complex is D two sp three because inner d orbitals are vacant. So hybridization is D two sp three, and this type of complex is known as inner orbital complex or low spin complex why it is known as inner orbital complex because here d orbital used is actually n minus 1d and this is ns and n p like 3d 4s 4p right and low spin what is the spin in free state or spherical field it is 5 by 2 because per electron it is plus half so for 5 unpaired electron it is plus 5 by 2 and when they are paired when their strong ligands are there plus half minus half plus half minus half zero and plus half so spin is plus half means spin converted from plus 5 by 2 to plus half <coughs> therefore complex is of low spin right okay so case 2 if delta o is less than p now delta o is less than p means ligand is weak if ligand is weak because if ligand is strong then difference is more if ligand is weak then delta o is less yes. and if delta o is less than p then shifting takes place or we can say pairing does not take place now if pairing does not take place that is for weak ligand then hybridization is now sp3 d2 because inner orbitals are all filled with one electron so now hybridization is sp3 d2 means now ns and p and nd orbitals are involved in hybridization so which orbitals are used outer d orbital so this is called outer orbital complex or high spin or high spin complex so if we you know this theory then you can easily identify ki which orbital uh, which complex has d2 sp3 hybridization and which has sp3 d2 for example if we compare fp f6 four negative and fp cn six four negative see in both the cases what is quadrilation number six six both have six quadrilation number so arrangement is octahedral arrangement is octahedral now all go tell me what is the hybridization of this fe pride is six pride is weak ligand or strong ligand if it is a weak ligand then what is the hybridization sp3d2 yes this has sp3d2 hybridization now come to this part fe cn6 four negative now in this case cyanide is strong strong ligand if cyanide is a strong ligand what is the hybridization of d2 sp3 now it is d2 sp3 that means it is high spin complex it is low spin, low spin complex it is outer orbital complex it is 
in the orbital complex. complex. So in this way, you can identify the hybridization, right? Okay, thank you very much for watching this video. Do like, share and subscribe my channel and don't forget to click the bell icon.